Hey guys, it's Megan. I feel like it's been so long since I did a favorites video that I was like, what am I even doing with my life? There are so many things that I have been using like ridiculously over and over and over again that I have to tell you guys about. So there's makeup, like skincare, hair care, clothing, kind of all the good stuff, fragrance, <sighs> there's just so much we have to catch up on. So <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let me start with my first favorite, which let's get in focus here. Thank you. Um, I cannot believe this, but I am a biker short girl. I am a convert. I don't know what I've been doing all my life. Biker shorts are everything. Athleisure is everything. I don't even know who I am anymore. Like literally, I have been wearing like head to toe Adidas, Nike, Champion, like what? This is not even who I am, but apparently it is, especially in the summer where it's just so hot. I'm not going into the office, so I have no reason to really dress like cute, but I feel cute in my athleisure. And these Zella, high rise biker shorts are everything they are so soft and they have this pocket which perfectly fits my phone which i love and there's actually a pocket on both sides so if you were wearing these to work out or take a walk or a run you could put your things in there and i just think that is so brilliant so they just get better and better feeling as you wash them which is my same experience with the zella live-in high-rise leggings and these are definitely high-rise which i love and they're a little pricey i bought them during um the nordstrom anniversary sale in like july august time period but now they're full price at 49 dollars but they're worth it they truly are and i have a few other pairs of the zella biker shorts but just these like original black ones with the pockets are my favorite so highly recommend them if it's still warm enough where you live to wear biker shorts or to wear them for working out all year round I just love them and I never ever thought that would be something I'm into but I absolutely am so that is like my number one favorite absolutely another favorite that I'm wearing today are magnetic lashes and specifically these kiss magnetic charm lashes so right now I just have on and is this middle I feel like sometimes the inner corner is like not perfectly adhered but they've never like fallen off my eyes um i was sent this like little kit from kiss that was the magnet eyeliner and the lashes in charm but you can buy i think online only just the lashes like themselves so you could get different pairs like if you have the kiss magnetic eyeliner you could get different like styles but i love this style in charm i think it is perfect for my eye shape and what i like with my lashes like i want them to be voluminous and kind of like bedroom eyes like where they're more like heavy on the end so it almost like i don't know just like does something to how your eyes look and they're just perfect the liner is so black and so rich and so easy to use the only thing is make sure you shake it up because that's like what disperses like the magnetic properties and then let it fully fully dry before putting the magnetic lashes on so as long as you do those two things they will last all day all night I wore these one day in August or I guess it was September. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. I can't believe it's October. Um, it was September, Labor Day weekend. Me and my mom saw AJR in concert, which is absolutely a favorite. AJR is like the best freaking band in the world, like I swear to you. And so that concert was incredible. And I wore these lashes all day and that night. And it was like, 
pretty humid from what I remember and I was like dancing and like going crazy and these little babies lasted all night long without like any worry of them flying off my eyes or anything like the magnets work so much better than lash glue ever has for me so this is pretty magical stuff I have to admit and um, I was sent this in PR but I would buy it myself in a heartbeat okay I just noticed my cheeks and you guys okay this is everything this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light one in pink gasm this is all I'm wearing on my cheeks okay like let's take a moment for that and this packaging is kind of annoying but kind of awesome at the same time it's a squeezy tube with a sponge applicator which I don't absolutely love but it does the job so basically I just do a few dots on my cheeks and then I take the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH04 brush just like an angled blush brush and I like stipple it and buff it out and that's how I get this cheek look it's the only thing I'm wearing on my cheeks no additional highlighter no additional blush no bronzer nothing just this and this product is like a TikTok sensation because of how amazing it is and I love the beauty light wand and spotlight way before I got this and spotlight is just a straight up highlighter but it's the same beautiful formula that's like truly undetectable on the skin but it looks like perfection so um spotlight is great if you want just a highlighter but this is a one-stop shop for highlighter and blush it's everything if it's still in stock anywhere i will link it below and if not just keep your eye on the pulse you guys like you have to watch out for this to come back in stock because it goes out of stock like immediately so love it worth every penny and there's other colors but i feel like this is a perfect shade for my skin tone and yeah so i'm not really super tempted to try another shade of like the blush color okay eyeshadow all august pretty much all september i have only used the natasha denona glam palette to be fair, I don't do my makeup every day anymore. Um, whoops. Also, my camera's like a little bit broken. The, um, like, thing that flips up so I can see myself, like, it's always at an angle. So I hope I am, like, in frame correctly here, but, you know, we're just going with it. So, anyway, I don't do my makeup every day anymore, but when I do my eyeshadow, I always use this and it just proved to me that this is all I really need like every so often I get the like feeling of doing a green eyeshadow look or purple or like a different tone of neutrals but nine times out of ten probably 9.5 times out of ten this is the eyeshadow look I want and I just do a mix of the matte crease colors I use this this and this just kind of like mixing them together on my brush this shade right here is everything to me it's this amazing like taupey um slightly purpley shade it's a very true metallic taupe and just so easy to use and when i want to really amp it up like i do most of the time i will pair it with the laura mercier caviar stick in intense amethyst it's super super metallic and i love this formula and it has that little bit of a purple tone to it that just really like emphasizes that in the eyeshadow and so when you layer it together it's just magic so i love that and i also really love this kat von d or i guess kvd vegan beauty dazzle stick in flash storm this is awesome stuff it's a similar color to the intense amethyst but it has this like bluish shift to it and it's just a little more 
magical looking on the eye. So um, this is also a really fun product and I really, really love it. So that's pretty much what I've done for my eyeshadow for the majority of the time for the past two months and I'm not sick of it. It's my thing and I love it. Also, I stopped wearing foundation, which is so freeing to me. Like, I don't know what I was doing for the past like 10 years, <laughs> but I am finally embracing that I have a pretty good skin and it's not perfect by any means, but it's pretty good. And pretty much every foundation doesn't perfectly match me. So I always had like a line of demarcation that just finally got on my last nerve. So I am still in love with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla perfect perfect shade for me i put a little bit under both eyes and then i use this sephora pro blush 99 brush to blend it out and i blend it a little on my cheeks but never really down here just in case of oxidiz oxidization but i do take it a little bit over my like upper lip and maybe a little on my chin unless if i'm gonna be wearing like a mask all day or something then i don't want to put really anything around this area but i will take it on my nose like whatever's left i don't add additional product other than what i put under my eyes and then i just blend it like in this general area so i love it this brush is great the concealer is great for me and it's just all i really need for coverage and i'm loving it it just makes me feel like good so love that oh also for eye products i forgot to mention these um these were also sent to me and i absolutely love them these are a um japanese made brush set from what's up beauty and um they sent me a bunch of products but these are absolutely the standouts um they're dirty because i use them and uh they come individually but truly the set is where it's at like I use every single one of these and if you have I feel like any eye shape but especially if you have smaller eyes these are perfect because there's this little like crease brush here there's a little pencil brush like all of them are just slightly on the smaller side and they all have a really great taper to them so it's just easy to use they pick up product perfectly they're very soft without being too soft like some um synthetic hair brushes are just too soft that they don't like buff product out but these are like natural hair i believe it's goat hair and they are just incredible so it is a bit of an investment it's i think it's 119 dollars for the set but I love every single brush. I use almost all of them every time I do my makeup and it's just a great set. You just like grab all your pink and black handled brushes and you're good to go. So I've been loving them and super, super appreciative of them for sending those products, their palette and uh, nail polishes, but definitely those brushes are 10 out of 10 cream of the crop for lip products i really haven't been using much but these nars lip oil infused thingy mabobbers these are amazing so this i'm practically done with this is the original one in orgasm you can basically see that I'm scraping the very last little bits and this was the first one I had and then during some sale or when I had a gift card or something I bought the color reef which is this beautiful like mauve bronze shade and then when I was in Ocean City, Maryland at a Marshalls, they had this one in Orgasm X, which is like more of a corally color. So now I have like all of them and I absolutely love them. I'll put the um, Orgasm one on. It's just a very, very sheer wash of color, but does give color. Um, 
and it slightly stains your lips, which is nice. Um, yeah, you can definitely see I'm almost done with this one, which makes me really sad. Um, but I do have the other two, which is great. And they just feel amazing. They're not like sticky glosses. They are just like a slightly thicker than oil consistency. They're just amazing, hydrating, and yeah, so shows a lot that I have three colors and I'm almost done with one um, that I didn't get that long ago. So yeah, love, love, love those. Another product I've talked about so many times is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor SPF 30. I don't even know how many of these little refills I've gone through at this point, but this is the best morning moisturizer with SPF. It smells like fruit. It feels incredible and it gives you sun protection. So I just never really found an SPF I loved from the drugstore and I find it to be so worth a slightly elevated price, but it's like $30 every few months so it's not super expensive but it is more than like Neutrogena or something like that that I was used to buying SPF from but this one actually makes me look forward to applying my SPF in the morning and that's what I really really wanted like SPF is one of the only proven anti-aging ingredients because it actually protects your skin from the sun and aging and um, it won't make you look like a newborn baby forever but it really helps so since I love applying this it feels so nourishing on my skin but not heavy and it just smells great it feels great and has the SPF it's worth it to me I love it so 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 much I have been using it ever since the very first day it came out and I repurchased myself every single time so love that so if you follow my videos you know I'm super into perfume so you would think wow Megan's gonna be talking about some bougie ass perfume that she loves in her favorites video well I'm here to tell you my favorite is this from Bath and Body Works <laughs> which is unreal to me but honestly this is like the scent this is it you guys so this is into the night from bath and body works <sighs> oh my god so the notes are raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk this just smells like fruity sexy like spicy cozy it's everything i want so I love the body lotion especially because I feel like the scent really really lingers with this and then of course you got to have the fine fragrance mist. So this is just divine. Super super affordable but always wait for a sale from Bath and Body Works. Um, I can't get enough of it. I truly can't. Um, I switch on my perfume almost every day so it's hard to pick a perfume that I'm like just so in love with like I love all of them that I've kept because I really narrowed down the ones that I have but this is the one that I feel like I wear the most because I can wear this with other perfumes so I can like use this Bath and Body Works combination but still wear an additional perfume but this really is the scent that like if there was a perfume version of this I would buy it like in a heartbeat there's no question about it so I hope they do come out with a bottle like a nice big bottle of perfume of this scent because I just think it's absolutely perfection and this is my favorite fragrance from the past little bit this is just kind of like a fun little thing um this is the Barbie ColourPop mirror which I thought was going to be the dumbest thing I bought from that collection but actually it's the only thing from that collection I actually continuously use so this little mirror it's very small but it's exactly what I need and it fits perfectly in my makeup bag so 
it's just great and yeah so I'm going to film a perfume video after this with some new perfumes and perfumes I'm excited to wear in the fall um, but yeah that Bath and Body Works one amazing I love it so much um I think that's it you guys yeah I think that's it but I hope you all are doing really well let me know what your favorites have been recently over the past little bit or few months because it's been a long long time so anyway I hope you guys are all doing really well and staying safe and healthy and I'll be seeing you very soon <laughs> bye